Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about my personal program for November 2022. We have not made a program design video in several months because of a lot of travel over the last three months, teaching up at Flo Shala, teaching in Los Angeles, working in Joshua Tree, going to Atlanta, New Orleans, etc. Lots of travel, lots of adventure, which gets you off of your set programming, but puts you on adventure programming. Adventure programming is all of the stuff that you have learned and a lot of body weight training. Maces are cheap. They work out great for adventure programming. You can have them sent wherever you're going. A 15 pound mace is maybe $30 on Amazon. Have it delivered to your hotel. Work for 30 to 60 minutes a day and do your body weight fundamental training where you focus on getting up off of the ground. We are back to the barn for the fall and we will be focusing on an ABC program. Sunday A, Monday B, Tuesday C, start over, same idea, slight variation. A, Wednesday, B, Thursday, C, Friday. This is an AM, PM program because we are trying to get our metabolism back in line after jumping so many time zones and having unpredictable food. Sunday, we will do Mace 360s. We will start at 10 minutes with a 20 pound 8X adjustable Mace and we will do 10 minutes nonstop then the next Sunday, we will add weight to a 1.25 pounds and we will keep it at 10 minutes. The pace is about 32 reps per minute. So in 10 minutes, we should be seeing 320 reps. We are focusing on 360s going around the head. Top hand goes past opposite ear, two hands on, because that is the most important thing that we do with mace, because that is one of the most important movements that humans do. It is one of the defining movements of humanity and everybody should be very, very good at it. On Wednesday, we will do the same thing, but we will add time and we will walk up towards 20 minutes. So we will add one minute on Wednesday instead of adding weight. We will stay at 20 pounds and we will go to 11 minutes and then next week, 12 minutes, the week after 13 minutes, 14 minutes, and we will build up towards our 20 minute mark. Very simple, be very good at 360s, focus on your breathing. Sunday goes up in weight, Wednesday goes up in time. The squat program is simple. It is five sets of 10 reps inside of three minutes. Set a three minute timer, repeat it five times. That is 15 minute block of training. Because we have adjustable kettlebells, we will start with 220s, do double front squats for 10 reps. You should have two minute plus break and then the next time on wednesday we will go to double 21s sunday 22s wednesday 23s etc and we will walk our way back up we are not focusing on adding volume here this is not a first time squat program this is a squat restoration program we are going to walk our way back up to the numbers that we were able to do in the spring which was five sets of 10 with double 32s, no problem. And then we were adding volume and we were building up to 10 sets of 10. But right now, keep it light, start walking our way back up because we haven't been doing proper squat training in the last three months. In the PM, this is just fun stuff. It is not meant to globally stress the body like everything else is, it's just meant to be fun. It is dips, set a timer for two minutes, start with 10 sets, which is 20 minutes. Do 30 seconds of dips, rest for 90 seconds. Next time, add a minute, go to 11 sets, walk your way up towards 20 sets. That's just for fun. And then here is something that's really just for fun. Incline chest press, three sets of 90 seconds of pressing with three minutes in between. Press for 90 seconds. We're gonna use 40 pound dumbbells, two 40 pound dumbbells on Sundays. And on Wednesdays, we will use 250s. When we're doing the 40s, we expect our numbers to be higher or we'll be moving faster than we will be with the 50s. Press for 90 seconds. I think we're looking somewhere in the range of 22 to 30 reps in that time range. And then a three minute break, a nice long break. Repeat, do 90 seconds again, three minute break, do 90 seconds again, go into cool down. Very simple idea. 90 seconds, three sets will be four minutes and 30 seconds plus six minutes total of break makes that what? 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Did I do that math right? I think I did. Simple program. 
Monday and Thursday AM program, mill squat program. Anytime you travel a lot, you sit down a lot, you lose your ability to rotate because you spend so much time seated. Whether it be on motorcycles or in trucks or on planes or on trains, you lose the ability to rotate because you adapt to what you're doing, which is sitting down. Mill squat is meant to restore our rotation and our side hip snap. Inside pendulum and outside pendulum with heavy clubs are essentially inside and outside power cleans. All hip snap, all the time, but rotated 90 degrees inside and outside. 20 minute program, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of break, five exercises repeated four times. And then there are three versions of that that we will be cycling. Monday, level one, Thursday, level two, Monday, level three, start over, Thursday, level one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Walking through those movement patterns to make sure we are restoring rotation and breathing. Think of the Monday, Thursday as all about rotation. AM is heavy. We'll be doing in the 45 to 50 pound range, keeping it lighter than our max 60 pound load. In the PM, we will be focusing just on single arm club, but for 90 second sets. So a 20 pound club starting with 10 sets of 90 seconds left, 90 seconds right. 90 seconds left plus 90 seconds right is three minutes for one exercise. No break, transition directly to the next exercise. Add one step of complexity, we will get through 10 steps of complexity in that amount of time. That will be 30 minutes nonstop rotation and breathing and casting patterns. Once again, casting patterns are one of the fundamental actions that define humanity. When you travel, they start to degrade. This day is focused on rotation and casting pattern Focus on our breathing, restore basic human movement. In the AM on Tuesday and Friday, we will be doing double kettlebells. We will be focusing on the competition lift, double long cycle. We will start with a three minute round. I will be doing 15 reps inside of three minutes. 15 reps should take about a minute and 15 seconds. So there should be a minute and 45 seconds of break. We're gonna start with five sets and then we are gonna start adding sets until we get back up to 10 sets. So that will be a 30 minute morning workout before we do our 15 minutes of cool down. In the PM, we're gonna be doing something fun. We're gonna be working with a hex bar. Bells of Steel has a new hex bar that is open on one side, a hex deadlifting bar, but because it is open on one side, you can do things like walking lunges with it and box step ups with it. So I have one of these on order. It hasn't arrived yet, but hopefully it arrives tomorrow and I can start working on hex deadlift bar design for programs. This is just here as a thought experiment and to be fun. We're going to see what we can do with the bar what the design lends itself to. I think hex bar deadlifts are the best and most accessible version of deadlifting that there is. And if there is an improvement in hex bar design, I would love to see it and work with it. So this is really just a block that's there for experimentation and thinking. It's a simple idea, but it's not easy. ABC program repeats again, focusing on our basics. When you do mace, you need to be very good at 360s. You should definitely be able to do 10 minutes nonstop. That is the most important goal that you have with mace. If you haven't been doing it for a long time, get back to doing that, get at least 320 reps in 10 minutes, and then work that time up. Squat program, keeping that block at 15 minutes. Each one of these workouts is meant to be about 30 minutes without our cool down. Wake up, work out in the morning, come out to the barn, work for eight hours a day at night, after dinner, go do a nice fun workout in the evening, focus on your breathing, focus on something fun, and then get a good night's sleep. The whole point of this is to let the body and the mind recover. Nothing's too complex, nothing's too crazy. I'm not working on any super new skills right now, although there will probably be some blocks of skill development in here as we work on program development. But the idea is to let the body settle back into a nice rhythm of workout, work, workout, and rest. And of course, we have to have our one day off a week. Saturday is totally off, and that's just a day for adventure and exploration, probably motorcycle riding, something like that. The point of these videos 
is to allow people to see program design laid out. What do people do? Why do they do it? And we will continue to do more program analysis videos now that we are back to the chalkboard so that we can look at different people's training. The more programs that you see and that you analyze and that you understand the reasons for, the more likely you are to write your own programs, which is really the goal of this channel. The goal of this channel is to put everybody back in control of their own health and fitness, allow them to lay out their own program and to think about it. If you think about your own training, then you are more likely to be involved in it and to do it, which is really the goal.